Hey Scorpio, this is a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, or if you want, you can get a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Mid-April, what are the overall energies? Alright, we have soulmate and we have separation. Alright. So definitely a soulmate connection here. Um, a strong one, alright? You will feel it as a strong connection. And I feel like there is a separation, alright? So if that is not the situation for you, then this might not be your reading. All right, let's see. And usually with soulmate or divine soulmate um, connections, there's bound to be at least one separation at some point. Not always, but <clears throat> usually there's a lot of lessons with soulmate connections, and a lot of those lessons do involve separation. So it could just be that you're not 100% together. That could be the case as well. But let's see. Or maybe there has been a big separation between the two of you. Alright, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For mid-April, let's see. So for you, we have the Six of Swords. Alright, interesting. That was the exact same card we had in the exact same position for Cancer. The Eight of Swords and the Moon. All right, might be dealing with the Pisces as well. <laughs> um, and I feel like this moon just keeps coming up for you. All right, so yeah, you're definitely moving away. Um, you're, you're moving away from whatever it is that is conflicting you. I feel like you're actually mo moving away from fears, fears that you've been holding on to. That's how I see this. I, I, I don't really feel like you're so much in your headspace as maybe you were in the past. I feel like there was a point in time where things just felt like they were hidden, you didn't know what was going on, there was a lot of fear, just a lot of uh, maybe even distorting reality, not, not sure of what is going on, and then just maybe coming up with different scenarios that may not have even been true. I feel like you're you're moving away from that type of an energy. Let's see what's going on with them. We have the Hermit, the World, and the Nine of Cups. All right, okay. So this is someone who is really doing a lot of thinking. I feel like they are doing a lot of soul searching. They're really learning about themselves throughout this connection and through this process. There's definitely things that are ending for them in their lives. I don't necessarily feel like this world card is um, representing the connection with you. I don't feel like that's what they're closing out. I feel like they're really just closing out different areas in their lives, like learning lessons and completing those lessons in order to move towards this Nine of Cups, which is what they truly want, their happiness, what it is that fulfills them. And I feel like it's, again, I feel like you're not 100% together. And I feel like what they're moving towards is their wish, which is you, all right, to, to be with you. But it feels like for whatever reason, they have issues that have needed to be resolved, and they are in the process of resolving those issues. Let's see what is coming up. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. All right, so whoever this is, I feel like if there has been um, any codependencies either on their end with something or on your end, possibly towards the connection, that is being resolved. I feel like you, this is actually, I feel like it's going to be the both of you. Feeling like you are whole within your own selves, independently of each other. You're still holding on to this connection though. That's still coming up, like this is not done. 
So if you're in a separation, I feel like this is definitely not, not over yet, but I feel like there are still things that um, are going to be resolved that possibly still need to be resolved here. Having this Two of Swords um, as the last card here. But let's see what the final message for you is. We have the Page of Cups. All right, so this is that love beginning to become more... Um, prominent. I feel like you, the both of you are just becoming more receptive or whoever it is that has been more closed off, which I feel is them, um, is becoming more receptive to that love, beginning to express themselves emotionally more and more. So, let's see. Let's clarify. So let's see the Six of Swords for your energy. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Let me just move these over a little bit. I always forget that the camera is more to my right. All right. Okay, yeah, so definitely this was a, a, wow, connection that brought you a lot of fulfillment or that you felt there was a lot of love here. And I do feel like there is. I mean, this person is definitely um, having a wish for you here. All right, but I see it as still being something like a fantasy or still it being not 100% complete. Like it's not the Ten of Cups just yet. It's something that they're wishing for, which is also um, very fitting with the separation card. Um, so you definitely felt this way and I feel like you still feel this way, but you, you have learned a lot about yourself as well throughout this this journey with this person. Um, even if it's something new, you've learned a lot and I feel like this has come with a lot of disappointments um, in the past. And because of that, I feel like you're just, you have found your own authenticity, you have found your truth, and you have realized truths about yourself that are actually helping you to move away from the fear that was once there. And I'm really happy to see that because I feel like we kept getting that moon for you, like, month after month after month. Um, let me see the Eight of Swords. Yeah, the Sun and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've worked a lot. You've done a lot of work here which to help you find out truths. Um, you might not even realize that it was so much truth finding. Like, I don't even know how aware you really were of these scenarios that were playing out in your mind. Um, maybe some of you were, but maybe some of you weren't. However, you you are now out of that, or you're at least moving away from that. You are totally moving towards your happiness here. You're moving towards a calmer and more peaceful state of mind. Um, whether there is a separation or not, or whatever the case is for you. Maybe it's something in between, but it's not, I, I get that it's not 100%. You're not 100% together with this person. Let me see the moon. The Nine of Wands and the Hierophant. Yeah, you know, I mean, for the most part, like I said, you know, you're, you're done coming up with scenarios, you're done ha holding on to a fear. However, I do feel like you still feel like you're in the dark maybe about certain things. And that's okay. You are, I feel at peace with that. I feel like this is, this was part of your challenge. This was part of your lesson was actually learning how to accept not knowing what is going on about everything in a certain situation and being okay with not knowing. Um, and overcoming your own fears that are attached to not knowing certain things and just overcoming maybe even your own fears about what this might lead to, what's going to happen, about being alone, whatever. You have learned, I feel, a lot. Like this is just a very, very spiritual path for you. And it's been a long road is what I'm getting here with that Nine of Wands. So good job, Scorpio. All right, let's see for them. Let's see this hermit. All 
All right, we have the world, we have the two of swords, and then two fell out here, the page of pentacles and the star. All right, so again, I do feel like they have a strong wish for you. Um, a lot of this, them being quiet or them um, feeling withdrawn or, or them just really being um, isolated within their own self, that is really for a good cause here. There's a lot of learning. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the world again, which we have here, which is exactly what I was saying. It's a closing out of lessons, learning those lessons, resolving karma possibly, and it's very deeply healing for them. Um, for many of them, I feel like they're not even aware of exactly what it is that is happening. Some are more aware than others. But this, this energy can make them appear like they're stagnating. But I feel like it's not really stagnating. What it really is, is them really having to resolve certain issues within their own self before they can be complete, before they can be, like I said before, their own individual person, knowing exactly who they are, feeling comfortable with who they are, which is this nine of pentacles down here. That's exactly what they're moving towards, that sense of self-worth. And I feel like once that happens, for the both of you, that's when, you know, this this page of cups is really coming into play here. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, this may already be in, in the works and you may already be feeling that even if you are in a separation. Let's see the world. All right, the two of pentacles, the three of swords and the ace of wands. Yeah, so that's the thing. They're still closing out these cycles and it's not something that is easy. Whatever these lessons are that this person has, there's a lot of pain and I feel like this pain is also attached to whatever it is that has happened with you. All right, they are hurting. They, they are feeling that pain. But I feel like this world card, whatever these lessons are that they need to learn, which has to do with their own self, um, those are going to overpower anything else. Like that is just, it's, it's going to take priority and it's not even, you know, um, I mean, that's, that's also the universe interfering with whatever it is that's happening so that they can learn. All right. However, it's this, it's this closing out of these lessons that is leading to something new here, to a reigniting of passion. See the Nine of Cups. Ooh, wow. All right. The Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so I'm telling you, they're manifesting their wish. They're manifesting you, actually. They're manifesting you and they're manifesting a new beginning with you. And I feel like this new beginning is going to be one of stability. All right. So that is definitely in the, in the works here. They're like in full manifestation mode, but you can't see it because, well, because they're, they're in the hermit mode. Um, and I, again, it's interesting because I feel like I've said that before for Scorpio, um, that things are happening that for whatever reason, you, you cannot see them. They're being hidden from you. All right. So let's see what is coming up here. Let's see the nine of pentacles. the nine of cups and the five of swords yeah again see so this is happening this is happening and again it's like you're you're being deceived in a way where you just don't know about it you cannot see it but this person is moving towards towards you they're moving towards their nine of cups they're moving towards what it is that they want but in order for that to happen again they have to find that sense of self-worth or their own stability within their own self and that's happening for them but through some painful lessons but it is happening. I feel like they're learning how to stand up for themselves more and really look after their own self rather than being people pleasers for some of them or just really standing up for what they believe in regardless of what other people think or if that's going to bother some other people. Let's see the Four of Pentacles. All right, the Four of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, there, this is a shift. 
this is a this is a shift that is coming up and what this shift is and because this person's not letting you go i really feel like this is their energy this person is holding on to you um there's a shift when it comes to their healing and i do feel like once that has reach this level you will be able to pick up on it um, because like I said I feel like things are being hidden from you you can't see everything that's happening but I do feel like for this here you will feel that difference even if it's just energetically so let's see why the two of swords is here then All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords. I do have one more sticking out here. It is the Eight of Wands. All right. All right, really interesting. Yeah, again, I feel like for some, some of you might not be aware of this. I feel like that's just the message here. You might not be able to see it. Um, you might feel like things are stagnating. You might feel like things just seem to be um, staying the same for some of you. So I feel like this is for two different two different scenarios here um, coming up. I feel for some of you, you will be able to feel that difference, right? You're going to feel like this person is really holding on to you, that there's this healing and there's this shift. There's something different about them. And then for others of you, I feel like you might not be able to see it. Um, because maybe you're in, maybe you'll still be in separation for some of you, all right? But this person is definitely moving towards that Nine of Pentacles energy, being independent, being able to stand up for themselves, going after what it is that they want, feeling good about themselves and feeling like they deserve to have what they want. And I see them being very determined and then actually coming forward and communicating. So whether you know about it or not, I feel like that is, that is the case regardless, all right, for this person. That's the message here. So... Final card out. Let's clarify that. The Page of Cups. Wow. <laughs> I am not surprised to see that moon again here for you. All right, the moon and the Four of Wands. So again, all right, some of you might be dealing with a Pisces since this moon just keeps showing up. Um, again, I feel like, you know, it's, you just don't see this for some of you. You cannot see it and that's okay. Or like I said in the very beginning, that's part of your challenge. It, that it's okay to not know everything. But what is, what is coming up here, all right, the message for you here is that there is going to be a recip, um, is that even a word? A receptiveness to love on both sides. That is what I'm getting here, especially with this Four of Wands, all right? That's that's a union card. This is all about stability, having a strong foundation, coming together, possibly even celebration. I mean, oftentimes this can be a marriage card. So I feel like this is something that you just can't see. And I feel like what the message here as well is, is that it's happening in small steps, in increments. The more you, you are okay with just not knowing and just keep working on yourself being this nine, of pentacles I feel like the easier things get for you and like I said I feel like you're already doing that you're already moving away from fears you're already being okay with you know I don't need to know everything right now on how things are going to unfold or play out and that's what I'm getting it's the best thing you can do right now all right so Scorpio if this resonated let's see the final message for you Got All right, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I feel like this is more of like, I mean, if you can see the image, right? It's like a couple who just got married type of a situation here. So take that as it resonates. Um, always follow your own intuition. And... Yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Much love.